Hello and welcome to this video on how to use the Making Tax Digital Objects from Microsoft. Before you use this guide, the NAV people must have completed the installation of the MTD objects and all associated configuration. Also, please be aware that these instructions are for your live system and any figures you submit will need to be 100% accurate. You will also need your Government Gateway account details to hand. To begin, we will navigate to the Service Connections page and open the HMRC VAT setup, which is currently disabled. The first two FAST tabs have been completed for you by us, and so they can be left as they are. Under the Client Tokens FAST tab, please enter in the Client ID and Client Secret provided to you by the NAV people. You will see that, once you tab out of the field or click away, the characters automatically change and shorten. This is expected and hides the number of characters in the data for security reasons. Under Process, click Request Authorization Code and you will be transferred to the HMRC website. Click Continue and you will then be asked to log in using your Government Gateway credentials for HMRC. Once logged in, click Grant Authority and an authorization code will be generated. Copy this code and return to the Service Connections screen. Paste the authorization code into the field and close the window. You should then get a message stating that authorization has been successful. You can now close the HMRC window. Back in the Service Connections list, you will now see that your HMRC VAT Setup Service Connection has been enabled. Now that the link between HMRC and your system is complete, it is now possible to use the Making Tax Digital functionality. Navigate to the VAT Return Periods list. Under Process, select Get VAT Return Periods. Enter a start date and an end date that you wish to retrieve periods for and click OK. The VAT return periods will be populated and the status of the returns indicated. We can now produce a VAT return ready to be checked over, finalised and submitted. Once you have created your VAT return periods, select the open return and click Create VAT Return. On the page that opens, under Process, click on Suggest Lines. This will calculate and prepare the amounts for the VAT return. Fill in the fields as necessary and click OK. The Report Lines FASTAB will display the VAT amounts pulled through from your system. Check these over thoroughly. To release the VAT return and prepare it for submission, under Process, choose Release. Once it has been released, you cannot edit it. Please do not click Release until you are completely happy. To submit the return to HMRC, under Process, choose Submit. Read the pop-up carefully, as it asks you to legally declare the information you are submitting is true and complete, and then click Yes. Your VAT return has now been submitted. If you wish to make all the VAT relevant postings and close the VAT period, Click Calculate and Post VAT Settlement. Select the settlement account you wish to use. We are able to view all liabilities owed to HMRC on one page. The information is pulled through from HMRC into your system dynamically. To do this, navigate to the VAT Liabilities page. Under Process, select Get Liabilities. Enter the start date and end date of the period you wish to receive VAT liabilities for and choose OK. The VAT liabilities have been retrieved and a confirmation pop-up shows how many liabilities were retrieved. We are also able to view all payments that have already been made to HMRC, including the dates on which these were made. Navigate to the VAT payments page. Under process, select Get Payments. Enter the start date and end date of the period you wish to receive VAT payments for and choose OK. 
the VAT payments have been retrieved and a confirmation pop-up shows how many VAT payments were retrieved.